It's amazing. Uh, uh, amazing, incredible, pick your word. For the third time today, it's reminiscent of those pictures we've all seen too much on television before when a building was deliberately destroyed, destroyed by well-placed dynamite to knock it down. It was almost as if it were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. The whole building completely comes down in one continuous motion. There couldn't have been any structural resistance. The building about to blow up. Did they actually use the word brought down? And who was it that was telling you this? In the fire department. And um, they did use the word, we're going to have to bring it down. More than 1,300 architects and engineers examine the evidence about Building 7's collapse and disagree with the official report issued by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires fueled by office furnishings. In an office fire, you cannot generate enough heat to melt steel. And yet we have evidence of molten iron. We have found is a modern version of thermite, which we call nanothermite. Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth say the American public has been fed a storyline about what happened on 9-11-2001. Let's just think about this. Controlled demolitions cannot be engineered and rigged in a day takes months and therefore this event must have been planned in advance.